in this pocket here, I have, let's see, tissue. Lots and lots of tissue. I always grab it out of the main tissue box in our house and just stuff it in there because you never know when you're going to need a tissue, um, especially now that he's five months and eating and getting his hands into all sorts of stuff. And it's just easy to grab it and wipe his nose, wipe my nose, whatever the case is. So we've got some tissue. Um, the next thing that's in that pocket is just... This is Cuticle Butter from Lush. It's wonderful. I use it as a hand cream because it's just thick and creamy and wonderful and I use it everywhere. It smells fantastic. If you can get your hands on some of this, it's well worth it. Um, very, very nice uh, hand cream, especially if you've got dry hands. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else in that pocket. So that's all and as you can see, once it, empty or if you don't have too much in it it'll just snap closed um, not noisy or anything like that on this side is my son's crinkly book we don't go anywhere without this because it is just wonderful he loves the sounds he loves everything about it and he got this at Christmas and it's been one of the best gifts that he's gotten um, he absolutely loves this book so this goes with us everywhere next thing that's in this side is another toy. I actually got this at a Christmas party. It looks like a pretty basic, simple toy, but it gets his attention. And when he's crying and fussing, this is pretty much the only thing that will grab his attention and snap him out of it. And he'll just continue on. My son hates the car seat, and so this helps to entertain him in the car seat and cuts down on the length of his tears. Um, so I've always got this in the diaper bag or in the car seat. I don't know what we would do if we lost it and it's just some simple little toy. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I have a wrapped up plastic bag. You never know when you're going to need a plastic bag. We do carry a wet bag, but a simple old plastic bag is invaluable if you're getting extra groceries or if there's a diaper mess or whatever it is, it's folds up tiny and we always 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 like having this with us um, in the pocket here you can see I don't know if you can actually see but I have a pen and there are three little pen loops there and so I just keep one pen in there um, I got it from a hotel that we stayed at and it just fits right in there it's great to have a pen with you and now that pocket's empty as well so that's it for the two outside pockets um, we'll go to the side pocket next. So these are little bottle pockets. Um, they're tucked away really neat and nicely. Uh, you can't really, um, they're not really noticeable when you're just looking at the diaper bag. It gives it a nice slim profile. Um, but you can fit a full size, like, plastic water bottle in there, or a sippy cup, or something like that, or bottles, obviously. People have said that it's insulated, but I don't think it's insulated. It doesn't feel insulated to me. I don't keep any bottles in there because we're breastfeeding. I breastfeed. Um, at one point, I used to keep a nursing cover in there, but now I'll show you what I use instead of the nursing cover. Um, so at the moment, I just started stuffing like all these wipes, and that's my son playing on his extra saucer. Noisy, noisy. Um, all these little wipes and things like that, I stuff them in the side there because they're easy to get to and I'm always, always needing them. Right now, we have a bit of an issue with stuffy noses and colds, so as you can hear, my nose is a little stuffed up too. Um, so I love to have these on hand. Um, I usually just keep a, a couple of those sample boogie wipes in the diaper bag, but because we're actually having a specific issue right now, um, and baby has a cold and I have a little bit of a stuffy nose, I keep the full pack of these Breathe Easy Wipes. He doesn't love getting his nose wiped with them, but I do find that after I wipe it with these, like, um, his nose is much clearer, he has a better and easier time breathing, so I use them. Oh, and they're all natural and wonderful like that. They have menthol in them and... Um, I don't know, some, I think it's like eucalyptus or something like that, but if you're interested in that, 
they're available in the stores. Yeah, eucalyptus and menthol. Um, very nice little handy wipes. Next that I keep in here is these Arm & Hammer Munchkin pacifier wipes. Um, I don't have to, I haven't had to use them too much, but it's always good to have a way to clean up things um, when you're on the go because if you don't have them, you're going to need them. You're going to drop a pacifier, you're going to drop something, or you know, you have a bottle nipple that you need to wash or wipe. So it's good to have them. Um, so keep these in the diaper bag at all times. Um, wet ones. Now that he's eating solids, it's really good to be able to like wipe down the table in front of him because his hands are all over everything, or um, wipe down the high chair. So I keep those in there as well. So I'll just repack these while we're going. So that's all I keep in that pocket, but as you can see, it's quite a generous pocket. Um, you can fit whatever you want in there, um, but it's meant for a bottle. So I'll show you what I have on the other side. This is the same slim pocket, um, and I have absolutely nothing in here. Uh, it just has like this lining. People say that it is, um, that it's insulated. I don't believe that. But, you know, if you put a bottle in there, hopefully it'll stay cold. Um, my water bottle is way too big, so I don't fit it in there. I have like a liter and a half bottle that I always carry around. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is the bottom of the diaper bag. As you can see, it's got a couple of spots on there. It's a really easy, clean fabric, so I could just wipe that off. I didn't even notice that before we got started. I think that's just like snow and slush from pushing the stroller around. Um, we've had this diaper bag now for about four months. So as you can see, it looks pretty nice, new and clean. No problems. I'll just wipe that off later. Um, and then in the back of the bag, this is where the change pad came. And um, I took out the change pad because I have another system of diapering. Uh, the only thing that I keep in there right now is like this little mess shuttle that I got with a Jujube diaper bag. Um, I keep that in there in case we have any like diaper blowouts or wet clothes or anything like that. This is a great little wet bag um, that I just stuff everything into until we can get home. So that's all that's in that pocket there. Okay. So, there's a little mommy pocket here. This is, I guess, a little place you can attach your keys. I've never done it, but it's a great little pull handle for to get into that bag with one hand or in that little pocket, the mommy pocket. So, this is my wallet. I keep that in there. And just all sorts of little mommy essentials. I've got a bunch of hair elastics and clips and headband and whatever to get my hair up and out of the way really quick when we're on the go. Um, more of that. Got a little nail file because I find that whenever I'm rushing, I end up breaking a nail and it's always good to get that jagged edge taken care of so baby doesn't get hurt. Um, my EOS lip gloss or lip butter, whatever you want to call it. I always have one of these with me. Um, my lips get really dry, so this is really fantastic. Um, a mint. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need a little pick-me-up. This is my melted, Too Faced melted um, lipstick, I guess you could say. This is fantastic. I got it at Sephora. It does rub off on absolutely everything, but I love the color, so I kept it. Um, I have a Kashi bar, just is an in case we're stuck somewhere and I'm starving, I need it. And that's it. So, stuff all that back in there. So that's just a really good little mommy pocket. Um, you shouldn't put too much in it because it makes it hard to get into the main compartment of the bag. But even with my wallet and my keys and everything, it's fine. So, this is the main compartment of the bag and this is how I pack it and what I carry with me on a daily basis. It's 
if I was to go out for a longer period of time, like a full day, like amusement park or the zoo or something, I'd pack it differently. But if I'm going anywhere, like the mall, a friend's house, family, anything like that, if it's less than, say, eight hours, this is how I pack it. So, as I said, I'm exclusively breastfeeding, but he just started having solids, like, last week, so we had to change this whole setup. So, this is my little food pouch. I got this at a bookstore, actually. It's a nice little, I don't know, like, a little pouch. It holds a few things and keeps me well organized. If he's about to eat, I just pop this out, and it's perfect. Um, so... Um, if, you, if we're going out for a long time, I have the, the Skip Hop Bento meal kit, um, and that's where I got these little cubes from. So this little cube, I'll just put, I make my own baby food at home, so I just pop out two of the like little frozen baby foods, I put it in one of these, and snap the lid on, which it seals it beautifully, and I take it with me. I'll usually take two, so one fruit and one vegetable, and, or like cereal or whatever, we're not doing cereal right now, but... I just put whatever meal in one of each one of these. It's great. And a bib. This is a, it's like a waterproof bib. It's a cushy waterproof bib. Love these. They definitely take care of all the mess. We haven't had any accidents beyond this. So I love having these on hand. And I keep two spoons these little munchkin spoons not sure if I'm in love with them but they do the job um, so yeah that's what I keep in his little food kit two of the little square containers would fit in here in the food kit um, two of these little square containers fit in here if I need to take more than two then I would take his um, skip hop meal kit um, it comes with six little containers, and if you fit them sideways, you can fit five of them in there. Um, so that works, and it's actually insulated. This is not, so if it's a short outing, um, I'll just put the frozen food in here, and it'll start to defrost by the time we get where we're going, and then I just heat it up with some warm water. Um, into the rest of the diaper bag, I carry my ring sling. This is my, ooh, come on. This is my Maya ring sling um, because he is always, always, always wanting to be carried. So I love having a way to transport him quickly and easily. It has a little bit of padding, so it's super comfortable, and I love it. Um, I love baby wearing.